and laughs in all that I create. Today I'll show you how to create giant paper roses using my free template on madebymarzipan.com. For this project, you'll need either 12 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock or 14 sheets of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Start by printing the three page template from madebymarzipan.com. Cut out each of the pieces. You'll need six large petals, six medium petals, five small petals, and a circle base. If you're using 12 by 12 cardstock, fit the large and small petals on a single page. If you're using 8.5 by 11 paper, you can turn it into landscape orientation and fit the medium and small petals on a single page. When cutting the cardstock, I like to stack the sheets and cut three at a time. You can make your paper all the same color, or you can use monochromatic shades within the same color family. Don't forget to cut the center slit on each petal. Finish cutting all of the pieces from cardstock as indicated on the template. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Why don't I try this at home? Try this at home. You'll also need two long strips that will be folded in half and cut to make the looped fringe center of the flower. If you're using 12 by 12 paper, you can use the scraps for this. If you're using 8.5 by 11 paper, you'll need to fold two whole sheets in half. Once your pieces are cut out, we can start assembling the rows. We'll start with the large petals first. If you have lightweight cardstock, you can roll the petals back with the aid of a marker or a glue stick. But if you have heavier weight cardstock, you'll get fewer creases if you simply roll loosely by hand. Add a line of hot glue on the inside edge by the slit. Pull the corners of the petal together so that the slit is closed. Then add a bit of hot glue to the outer edge of the circle base and adhere the petal. Continue adding the large petals around the base, overlapping the petals a bit. Continue the process with the medium sized petals. It looks best if you stagger these. So, glue the first petal so it's centered between two of the large petals. Finally, add the five small petals. Now we can make the center of the rows. You should have two long strips folded in half lengthwise. Fringe the folded edge by making cuts about half an inch apart. Leave about an inch of the paper intact at bottom. Open the paper, smooth it out, and gently fold in the opposite direction. Coil the paper into a spiral, starting with a rather tight roll and gradually loosening as you roll. Glue the loose edge in place and slide your finger through each loop to spread it open for a fuller bud. Repeat the process with the second strip of paper, adhering it to the previous coil.
Attach the center bud to the middle of the flower with hot glue. You can hang these on a wall by pressing thumbtacks in areas deep within the flower. They make a gorgeous backdrop for photos or for special events like weddings or baby showers. If you'd like to make it in varying sizes, you can scale down the size of the template in your printer settings. Get the free template by clicking on the link in the video description. For hundreds more crafting tutorials, visit my website at madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.